prayer, it's a little bit like the word love. It can mean a lot of things and it's, I think it's one of these words that's so big and such a mystery that it's hard to define or understand and I think to a lot of Carmelites it's a mystery as well. But Holy Scripture gives us so many beautiful images of prayer, of what prayer is, that we can find uh, even way back in the Old Testament at the beginning where it says Enoch walked with God. It's being with the one that we love, but not just being, being with our Creator, but also turning towards Him, being, walking with Him. It's a companionship, but it's a, most of all a movement of the heart away from created things and towards our Creator. Our Holy Mother, St. Teresa of Avila, mostly she compares it to water. Without water, we can't have life. It's the same thing, we, we can't have life interiorly without prayer, without turning towards our Creator. I think of our Holy Father, St. Elijah, He's presented to us in the Book of Kings during a time of great drought and dryness. And that's an image of all of our needs, really, how desperate we are without prayer, without the interior life. And God tells Elijah, go and hide yourself. Go and hide yourself in the torrent, uh, by the torrent of Kareth, and you will drink from the stream. So God promises that in prayer. And so we pray for a lot of different reasons, but mostly because we just need to. We need God. And he has promised if we turn to him, we will drink from a stream. He will nourish us. And of course, we also pray. We pray because we need it, but also because of the, the joy that it brings to our, our good Father in heaven to see us having a relationship with him. Every time a soul turns towards God, even just for a few seconds, we can think of the joy in his eyes to have that relationship restored with one of his creatures. There are so many different methods of prayer, but we're very fortunate as Carmelites that we have been given by the church a way of life that exteriorly matches what we're trying to live interiorly. Carmelites would say we pray by living our life, so our life draws us into that mystery of prayer by engaging engaging with life from moment to moment with what God puts in front of us we are drawn into a life of prayer into a relationship with him because for Carmelites we are called by our holy rule to pray always pray always meditating day and night on the law of the Lord by living with our eyes fixed on Christ everything we do becomes a prayer Carmelites make two hours of mental prayer each day our Holy Mother St. Teresa gives a very good method for that, which is suitable to all kinds of people, which is simply to close our eyes, to um, examine our, our souls, to confess our souls before God as his sinful creatures. But then above all, she says, to look at him. So our Holy Mother St. Teresa's wonderful phrase, I'm asking you only to look at him. I'm not asking you to do anything difficult, just to look at him. And so I think every method of prayer comes back to that at some point looking at Jesus Christ because he is the great method of prayer. Our Lord's sacred humanity is the, the true doorway to any kind of prayer. And so every method of prayer really revolve around turning to Jesus Christ. That's why the Eucharist is so important because it's this beautiful abundant place where we find the sacred humanity of Christ. And that can be, of course, through the Gospels is a wonderful way of doing that but also through the reality of his presence. So prayer is very much becoming aware of a reality. I think a lot of people think that the interior life or the spiritual life is imagining something, being good at imagining something, pretend, or that's not really there. But in fact, prayer is to engage with the reality, something that's so real, but because of our brokenness, because of original sin, we're blind to. And that reality is that we are living always in the embrace of God.